This experiment is Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, and this is part of the quantum physics section of the course. Um, so, what you're going to be doing in this experiment is you are going to be measuring the diffraction pattern through a couple of different slits using a laser. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to relate the, uh, the uncertainty in position provided by each of the slits to the diffraction pattern and then to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Um, so the derivation for how to do that is given in the introduction for those notes. Uh, and so what I'm gonna walk you through here is all the different parts of the experiment and how the data is taken so that you understand that. Um, so first, we're just gonna look at all the components of the experiment. Um, so starting at this end, we have a laser, which is gonna be used to output your coherent light. Um, so this is turned on and left to warm up for a little while so that its uh, output is constant. Um, next, you can see here, we have our slits that we're gonna to use to create our diffraction pattern. Uh, so down here, we have our detector. Uh, and so this is a photodiode uh, with a very thin slit. And so what that does is it allows light through just for one particular position. And it records the intensity of the light as a voltage across the photodiode. Uh, and so it's that voltage that you're going to measure and use that as a measure of your intensity of the light at that position. Uh, finally, down the end, you can see we have a blue box, which is just a amplifier for the photodiode, as well as just a standard multimeter. And that's what you're gonna to use to measure the voltage, which is gonna give you the intensity of your light. Uh, so next, we're gonna look at a few of these up close so you can see exactly how they work. first thing we're going to look at are the slits. So you can see here, uh, these are the slits being held in place by uh, this spring-loaded clip. Um, and so you have three slits that are going to be used in this experiment. So there's the 0.4 millimeter slit that the laser is currently being shined through. And there's also a 0.2 millimeter and a 0.1 millimeter slit. Uh, and so these are going to control uh, how well you know the position of a photon uh, as it passes through the slit. So the way that you change between the slits in the experiment is you would lift up this clip like this and then move it so that the laser is now shining through whichever slit you want to measure. The photodiode is mounted on a post attached to a lateral translation stage. It allows the photodiode to be moved across the diffraction pattern to measure the intensity versus position. If you look closely, there is a 0.3 millimeter vertical slit in front of the photodiode to collimate the incoming light. At the moment, the other slit, which is in front of the laser, is removed so that you can see the laser spot on the photodiode housing. This allows you to align the photodiode to the beam line, which sets an initial position origin for the measurement. When you put the slit back in front of the laser, you get your single slit diffraction pattern back, but it is hard to see with the lights on. Using the screw on the side and the ruler on the front of the translation stage, you can obtain intensity data as a function of position across the diffraction pattern. Okay, so the final part of the experiment is the multimeter that's used to measure the voltage on the photodiode, which tells you the intensity of the light. Um, so this is just a standard multimeter. Uh, it's set up just to read the voltage. Um, and so you can see that there is some slight uncertainty, so the voltage is drifting around a little bit. Uh, probably also doesn't help that I have a bunch of lights on so you can see what's going on. Uh, and so this multimeter is also connected up at the back to a photo amplifier, which is connected to the photodiode. So the signal comes in from the photodiode through here. Uh, it's amplified, converted into a voltage, and this voltage tells you the intensity of the light.